everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Promenade Market Bag and this is the fourth bag in the uh, Marvelous Market Bag Crochet Along. If you're following along, if you haven't heard about the Marvelous Market Bag Crochet Along, you can check out the description of this video and there'll be a link there that leads you to all the good details. So here is our promenade market bag. This is a market bag that works up fairly quickly because it is a very open work kind of lacy stitch. You can see here it has a solid half double crochet bottom and then some continuous handles worked up here at the top. This bag is worked all as one piece and today I've worked it in one color but you can switch it up as you need. Uh, I prefer to work my market bags in a 100% cotton yarn. Today I'm going to be using the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. It's a worsted weight cotton and there's about 186 yards per ball. You're going to need two balls in the mineral yellow uh, for this market bag today. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Again, direct links to these items are in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. Oh, one more fine thing, final thing. You're also going to need four to six stitch markers to help you on your way. So thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to Rich Textures Crochet, welcome. Or even if you're not new, welcome. And uh, I hope that you'll check out some of the other videos on this channel. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns. There's many more market bags as well as uh, other home decor items and then stitch tutorials as well. So please don't forget to subscribe, say hello down in the comments, and I look forward to seeing your finished market bags. Let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. Our design today is worked from the bottom up, so we're going to start by working the bottom of our bag. Uh, it is worked in rounds. We're going to begin by making a slip knot, and then by working a chain, a starting chain of 40 stitches. There's 20, Thirty, and forty. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin round one by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across to your final chain. So a half double crochet in that second chain and then into each stitch all the way across to your final stitch uh, in that foundation chain. Once you come around to your final stitch, into this final stitch, you're going to, of your chain, you're going to work three half double crochet stitches. Now if you would like, at this point we're going to mark our corners so you can mark the first stitch and then work another half double crochet and a third half double crochet and then mark that stitch. This is just going to make it easier as you're working around uh, to see where your corners are. You're then going to, working on the opposite side of your chain, you're going to half double crochet again into each stitch all the way across uh, to your first chain or I guess it's your second chain that you worked your first stitch into. So continue all the way across to your first stitch working a half double crochet into the opposite side of your chain all the way across. Once you come across to that final stitch, that final chain, into this final chain work two half double crochets and you can mark that first one and then there's your second one 
And then the next stitch that you'll mark is actually the first stitch of your round, if you would like, but we're going to work into it in a sec. Uh, so once you've worked your final two stitches, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then ready for round two. For round two, chain one, and into this first stitch, you're going to work three half double crochet stitches and you're going to mark the second stitch of the three which will be your corner stitch. So three half double crochets all into the same stitch. And then if you would like, mark that second stitch of the three. You're then going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way across to your next stitch marker. Once you come across to your next stitch marker, it will have been 37 stitches, you're into that next marked stitch you're going to work three half double crochet stitches and once again if you would like mark that second stitch of the three so three half double crochets mark the second stitch you're then going to half double crochet into the next stitch and then in the next stitch or at your next stitch marker work three more half double crochet stitches mark the second stitch. You're then going to half double crochet once again all the way across to your next stitch marker and it's a total of 37 half double crochet stitches. So one in each of the next 37 stitches. Once you've worked 37 half double crochets and you've come to your next stitch marker work three half double crochets into that next stitch mark the second stitch if you would like and then you're going to finish off by working one final half double crochet in the final stitch you're then going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch for round three, chain one, half double crochet into that first stitch. Into your next stitch, you're going to work three half double crochet stitches. Mark that second stitch for your corner. And you're then going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way across to your next stitch marker and that's going to be a total of 39 stitches. So one half double crochet in each of the next 39 stitches all the way across to your next marker. Once you come across to your next stitch marker, work three half double crochet stitches into that next stitch mark the second stitch you're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches that will bring you to your next marker in the next stitch you're going to work three half double crochet stitches Mark that second stitch and you're then going to half double crochet into each of the next 39 stitches which will bring you to your next marker. At the next stitch marker you're going to work three half double crochet stitches.
mark the second stitch, then work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round four, you're going to chain one, half double crochet into that first stitch and into the next stitch. Then work three half double crochets into your next corner stitch. Mark the second stitch if you would like. You're then going to half double crochet in each of the next 41 stitches which should bring you around to your next corner stitch. Once you've worked 41 half double crochets into your next stitch, work three half double crochet stitches. Mark the second stitch if you wish. You're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Three half double crochets into your next corner stitch. And then working along the side again, you're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next 41 stitches or until you reach your next stitch marker. Once you come all the way across, work three half double crochets into that next stitch. Mark the second stitch. You're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches, which should bring you across to your first stitch, and you'll join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. That brings you to round five. For round five, we're going to half double crochet into the first stitch and into each of the next two stitches. Add your corner stitch, work three half double crochets. You're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next 44 stitches. That should bring you around to your next stitch marker. Sorry, each of the next 43 stitches. Once you've worked one half double crochet in each of the next 43 stitches, you're here at your stitch marker or your, or your corner stitch, you're going to work three half double crochets into that next stitch. You're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Into your next stitch, work three half double crochet stitches. You're then going to, working along the other side, work one half double crochet again in each of the next 43 stitches. Once you've worked 43 half double crochet stitches into your next stitch, work three half double crochets. 
all into the same stitch. You'll then have four stitches remaining. You're going to work one half double crochet stitch into each of the final four stitches. This will bring you to your first stitch. Join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. This brings us to the end of our increase rounds for our bag. This is what your bottom looks so like so far. We're now going to chain one, continue working in the same direction. You can remove your stitch markers now. And we're going to work three rounds, so round six, seven, and eight of a half double crochet in the same stitch as joining and then into each stitch all the way around. So one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch, chain one and continue. So go ahead, work round six, seven, and eight, half double crochet in each stitch around and then meet me back here. Once you have worked through to round eight on the bottom of your bag, this is what the bottom of your bag will look like, you're then ready to begin the sides of your market bag. So for the sides of your bag, we're going to continue working in rounds in the same direction. You're going to begin round one of your side by chaining one, and then by working a single crochet into that first stitch, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, chain, uh, join with the slip stitch in the first stitch and chain one. At the end of round one, you've joined with a slip stitch, chain one. For round two, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then chain seven. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way around. Chain seven, skip the next three stitches, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around, ending with a chain seven, and then a join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. When you come all the way around, at the end of round two, you're going to chain seven, skip three, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet. You're then going to slip stitch into each of the next four chain stitches. So one, and this can be a little bit tedious if they're a little bit tighter, but you just want to slip stitch across to the fourth chain. There's four. So you've slip stitch across the fourth chain, you're then ready to begin round three. For round three, you're going to chain one and single crochet into that same chain stitch. You're then going to chain three and single crochet into the next chain space. So the next chain seven space. This time you don't need to work into a chain, just into that space. You're then going to repeat chain three and single crochet into the next chain seven space.
repeat that all the way around. Once you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first single crochet and chain one. For round four, we're going to single crochet into each stitch, so each single crochet stitch starting with that first one, and then work three single crochet stitches into each chain three space. So we're just working into the space, not into the stitch. So three into the chain three space, and then one single crochet into each single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around, three single crochet stitches into each chain three space, and then one single crochet into each stitch, and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round four, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Now, for the rest of the sides, uh, the main body of your bag, for rounds five through to twenty-five, you're going to repeat rounds two, three, and four seven more times. So your round two started with that chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, chain seven, skip three, and single crochet, uh, and so forth. So that was your round two, uh, three, and then four, which is that single crochet round we just worked. You want to repeat those three rounds for a total of seven more times. So to make it easy to count, all you're going to do is you're going to need eight in total of these kind of zigzag rounds for your bag and then you'll know you'll, you have come up to the top. So go ahead, repeat rounds two, three, and four seven more times and then meet me back here and you'll be ready to work at the top in the bag handles. Okay, once you've worked through to the end of round 25, your bag from the bottom up through to the top will look like this and so you'll have ended on a round four which is a single crochet round. We're then ready to continue with the bag top, uh, the bag handles. So what we're going to do for the top and handles is you've joined with a slip stitch into that first single crochet. You're going to chain one, we're going to keep working in rounds and you're going to work three rounds, so round one, two, and three three rounds of half double crochet stitches. So half double crochet in that first stitch and then in each stitch all the way around when you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one and work your next round of half double crochet stitches. At the end of round three once you've joined with a slip stitch in that final stitch you can then fasten off. So work rounds one, two, and three, and meet me back here. Once you have worked your three rounds of half double crochet stitches up here at the top, you're then going to fasten off. You can go ahead and weave in any ends that you might have showing. You're then ready to mark the bag handles. What you're going to do is you're going to lay your bag flat on your table or surface. So just lay it flat and you're going to place a stitch marker into your corner stitch. So just where it folds there, as close as you can to the center. You're then going to count across the front of your bag 55 stitches to the other side and you're going to mark that stitch. So this will mark the two sides of your bag. You're then going to, with your front side facing, beginning at the stitch side stitch markers, you're going to count in nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you're going to mark that stitch. 
Go over to the other side, starting at the stitch marker, count in nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then eight, and nine. And mark that stitch. You're then going to turn your bag over. Uh, in between the two front stitches, you should have approximately 36 stitches. If not, you may want to adjust um, the stitches on the sides, but you want about 36 stitches in between those two front markers. You're then going to turn your bag over, again starting at that stitch marker on the side, count in, uh, this time you're going to count in 10 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then mark that stitch. It should be roughly in line with the stitch on the other side. Go back to your other marker, count in the same 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and mark that stitch. Again, there should be about 36 stitches in between your two stitch markers. You can then remove, once you have marked your front and your back, you can remove the two stitches, uh, stitch markers that marked the sides of your bag. So you just have the four markers left. You're then ready to begin working the bag handles. So what you're going to do is over on the left hand side on either the front or the back of your bag, it doesn't matter, at the left hand stitch marker, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch right into that marked stitch. You're then, so this is for round four, you're going to half double crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch across to the next stitch marker. So we're working uh, the two shorter spaces between the two markers. So these will be along the sides of the bag. And we're just going to work all the way across to the next marker. When you come to that next marked stitch, you're going to work a half double crochet into that marked stitch. You'll be then on the other side of your bag. You're then going to chain 45 and you want to chain it fairly loose because we're going to be working into these chain stitches. So chain 45. At this time, if you would like to change the length of your handles, so you might want them shorter or longer, you can adjust this chain to the desired length. Just remember how many stitches you work in it so that you can work the same number on the other side. There's 10. twenty. 30, 40, and 45. You're then going to skip the next 36 stitches and then half double crochet into the next marked stitch. At this time you can remove those stitch markers once you work into it. So just half double crochet into that marked stitch. You're then going to half 
double crochet into each stitch all the way around to the next marker. Keep going across When you come to your next marker, half double crochet into that marked stitch. Again, you can remove it if you'd like. You're then going to, once again, chain 45, or if you change the number of chains, then uh, however many chains you need, I'll be doing 45. There's 20. Forty. And 45. Jump across, skip the next 36 stitches, and then when you come to your next stitch marker, which will have been that first half double crochet, simply join with a slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet. Next, we're going to chain one. This is for round five of our bag handles. You're going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way across to your chain so all the way across When you come to that first chain, you're going to work a half double crochet into each chain stitch all the way across. So if you worked 45 as I did, you're going to work one half double crochet in each of the next 45 chain stitches. Now if you really uh, don't like working into your chain stitches, then you may uh, simply crochet into the chain space. Uh, you may find that you need to half double crochet um, a few extra stitches if you're finding it's really loose. Um, it's really up to you, but I worked a half double crochet into each chain stitch. You're then going to continue around working half double crochet stitches in each stitch and each chain stitch until you come back to your first stitch. When you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet. At the end of round five, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. And you're almost finished your bag. Now for the final three rounds, round six, seven, and eight, you're going to work three final rounds of half double crochet stitches. So chain one, half double crochet into that first stitch, 
and then into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch, chain one, and work your next round. Once you have worked the three rounds of half double crochet stitches, so this is at the end of round eight for your bag handles, you can fasten off, weave in your ends, and then go out and enjoy your promenade market bag. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.